Hi and welcome to Williamstown Primary School. We are a school in South Australia in the beautiful Barossa Valley. Today we'll be reading you a book from Book Week. I hope you enjoy. A thought. Your baby brother is gorgeous, said Mama Crocodile. He is as green as a grub and his eyes are as yellow as egg yolks. Caroline Crocodile was jealous. He's smelly. He loves to eat up his fish and frogs, said Mama Crocodile. Caroline was so jealous. He's no fun, she said. Mama Crocodile said, look at his adorable snout. Caroline was very, very jealous. He dribbles. He has such scaly skin and sharp little claws, said Mama. He takes up all the room on your lap, said Caroline. But Mama Crocodile was giving baby brother a big, smacky, smoochy kiss. Caroline was very, very, very jealous. She wanted a big, smacky, smoochy kiss from Mama Crocodile. The next day, Mama Crocodile said, This hat is not exactly what I want. I will go to the hat shop and swap it for a new one. Be a good girl, Caroline, and look after your baby brother, said Mama. I will be back soon. Caroline waited and baby brother dribbled. Then Caroline saw that they were outside the baby shop, so she took him in. This baby brother is not exactly what I want, she said. It's smelly and it dribbles. It's, it's no fun and it takes up all the room on my mama's lap. I want to swap it for one that is just right. Of course, said the assistant. How about a baby panda, so soft and cuddly? Well, my mama does love yellow eyes, said Carolyn. Why don't you try it and see? So Caroline Crocodile took the baby panda to the cafeteria for a snack. Fish, asked Caroline, or frog? The baby panda ate the bamboo chair he was sitting on. Then he ate Carolyn's chair too. Carolyn took the baby panda back to the baby shop. No good, said Carolyn. Fussy eater. How about this baby elephant with the adorable trunk, said the assistant. Well, the trunk looks like a snout and my mama loves a snout, said Caroline. Caroline t- Crocodile took the baby elephant to the fountain. He trumpeted loudly and sprayed water over his back and on two passers-by. Then he sat on the edge of the fountain and it broke. Caroline took the elephant back to the baby shop. No good, she said. Too squirty. Well, will you try twin baby tigers, said the assistant. Twice the fun and such sharp little claws. My mama loves sharp claws, said Caroline. The two twinny tigers look, took off to the toy shop. They pushed the little ones off the chairs, scattered the jigsaw puzzles, knocked over the displays, ripped up the cuddly toys, crashed cars and bit the books. Caroline Caroline took the twin tigers back to the baby shop. No good, she said, too tiring. How about about a baby giraffe, said the assistant. No good, said Caroline. My mama likes scaly babies. A baby pig, the assistant suggested. No good, said Caroline. My mama likes green babies. Well, all I have left, said the assistant, is this second-hand crocodile. It is in lovely condition. Look at its shiny new tooth. My baby brother with new tooth? That is why he's dribbling, cried cried Caroline's crocodile. I'll have you back. You are still smelly and dribbly, but you are not a fussy eater. You are not too squirty or too tiring. You are just right after all. Mama Crocodile came back with a new hat. What a good big sister you are to look after your baby brother. 
so well she said why he has a new tooth when all his teeth grow he will be as beautiful as you are Caroline with your green scaly skin and your yellow eyes your sharp little claws and adorable snout and Mama Crocodile gave Caroline a big smoochy, smacky smoochy kiss. The that end. ends the end.